Memorial Day on the 12th of May 2008 in the Sichuan province of China. People were busy in work and school, unaware of the disaster that was about to occur. A massive earthquake measuring 7.9 magnitude on the Richter scale struck the Sichuan province of China, destroying everything in its path. Among the fallen skyscrapers were 7,000 obliterated schools in which thousands upon thousands of children were crushed to death due to shoddy construction. A Chinese construction worker said, School construction is the worst. First of all, there's not enough capital, so schools in poor areas have small budgets, and unlike schools in the cities, they don't collect much in the way of fees. He also added that no one pays attention to the schools in remote areas, which never got brought up to the new safety standards. In the Sichuan province, there were 70,000 deaths. On the other hand, in the Luma Prieta 1989 earthquake, there were 63 deaths. This was due to the poor construction of the buildings in China and the features that the buildings in San Francisco had, such as rubber shock absorbers and concrete counterweights, which the buildings in China did not have. In California, FEMA is an organization set up to educate people on what to do if an earthquake were to occur by doing such things as a drop cover and hole drill. In China, there are no organizations similar to FEMA to educate people on what to do if an earthquake struck. In rural areas of Sichuan, there were no emergency services available to help those in need, whereas in California, they were always readily available in case an earthquake struck. So, in conclusion, LEDCs are more vulnerable to damage as they are less prepared because buildings aren't adapted to cope with the strain that earthquakes cause them and lack of rescue services to assist the people they are in need. Whereas MEDCs are much more adapted to cope with shocks to buildings and have an organisation called FEMA set up to educate people on what to do if an earthquake occurs.